Hi, it's Bonnie at Adventure Farms, and today I'm um, going to show you how I add water to my incubators during the lockdown period without opening them. Okay. Um, as you know, I use the Brense Eco um, 20 models, and I also use a Little Giant incubator. Uh, this is my homemade incubator, which I'm not using right now, um, but I made it as a test experiment thing this year. Um, anyways, first um, up here on the counter I have two little giant incubators that are um, running. One has eggs um, and the other one is going to get eggs in a day or so and I alternate it in such a way so that I don't have to clean them out. I just, I'm moving down to this is a hatcher which is still air. It uh, doesn't have a fan. But you see that this little funnel is sticking out, so I'm going to show you what that's for. The funnel is running through the vent, and then down here into the, um, I just had a hatch out of this too, and here's my chicks. Um, and uh, the funnel is running right, um, the, this is aquarium tubing, I'll show you the packaging. And it's going right down into um, the larger reservoir. And I put it through the hardware cloth so that it doesn't move around. And if you're wondering what these are, um, I found these at Walmart. These were holding M&M Easter egg candies for Easter. And I asked if I could have them, and they said yes, I could have them. And I have more too, so I cut one in half. And these I'm using as hatching trays. They fit in there perfectly when the lid's not, you know, sitting funny. So I hatched out my chicks and knees, and, and I had good results. Um, I like having the chicks slightly upward. Okay, so this is all cleaned out, waiting for my next hatch. Um, so I'm able to look in and view the water level and manually add water without having to open it and compromise the incubation conditions, which you know, some species will hatch easily and some will not. Um, this is, I, um, let's see, this is, it needs to be turned anyway, um, but this is a Brinsay one, okay, and here, let me show you here. Um, this is part of the same tubing that I just um, snipped off enough just to get it to go down in there, and this is a small funnel. You see it's a different funnel, so what I do is I open the vent all the way, and this aquarium tubing fits right down inside and uh, I put it in all the way and then I'm able to fill up the water and while it's hatching the incubator's not turned so the water will just run right into the reservoirs and it makes it easy for you to add water. Now I do have a hatch going on right now. I have um, some Anagadori long tail phoenix eggs and um, some Delawares. The twins are in there, but I was not able to check on the twins. I know you guys want an update on that, and so do I. I'd love to know. But um, I'll show you the little guy. This is the, um, the first Phoenix chick hatched three days early. And this is he or she. So this is a fancy breed of, of chicken. The tails, this is a non-molting. Um, Gene genetics line descended from the Onigadori Japanese uh, or Chinese. I can't remember. I, I know they were uh, bred for Chinese emperors, but I think they're Japanese breed. Um, anyways, this is my little baby. This was the first one hatched three days early, so I had to immediately throw it, uh, throw the incubator into lockdown mode, and I wasn't able to candle those twins and check on them. But um, on day 21, if I don't see any pips or anything, I'll pull the twins out and um, start to assist hatch them in this hatcher down here, the one I showed you, the little giant. But I just want to show you my little phoenix baby. Isn't he or she so adorable? I had no clue what they were going to look like too. Um, I found these eggs on auction um, at my local market. This is my... Hi. Hi. This is my youngest daughter. Um, and uh, so I threw them in the incubator and now they're hatching. Yes, it's beautiful. So there's my little, my little, people keep these as pets, and so they do need to be handled a lot. Um, so I, I take it out and 
handle it. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I can't wait to see the other ones hatch. So I'm going to put it back with the other chicks. Okay. Well, that's how I add the water. Um, let me show you the packaging for the aquarium tubing. Maybe she's snoring. find it. Watch out. Um, hmm. I know I had it in here somewhere. Here. Oh. Well, here's the tubing. I got it in Walmart in the pet section in the back. Um, there's a aisle that sells fish aquarium type stuff. I must have thrown away the packaging it comes in. But you can see that you get more than enough. Um, to do, um, you know, two little funnel hookups here. And that's all I need. You might need one that's longer or shorter, but, um, you know, it's only a couple bucks, so it's easy to do. Again, here is the one I used for the Brinse incubator, and this is just black electrical tape that I've used. All right, and here's my funny eggplant drawing. The chicken laid an eggplant. I know, I'm silly. Bye.